let's have a little look exactly how the bar chart and the candlestick charts are formed. Okay, so the first thing to note is that a line chart is just a point plotted at the close. I think we've all done that, maybe we've been at school or, or whatever. Um, you know, a point is plotted as we can see, and then we just draw a line, or the computer draws a line between the two, and that gives us our line chart. Very basic, very simple, fine for just visually seeing what's going on. But for a trader, we need a bit more information than that. So the two favorites that traders have are the bar charts and the candlestick charts. Uh, personal preference, I prefer candlestick charts, but I know guys who prefer bar charts, it doesn't matter, but you really shouldn't be using line charts at all if you're a trader, they, they don't really give you as much information as you need so in a bar chart a bar is drawn the top of the bar is the high price for the day so you can imagine a day's trade uh, let me just redraw that the top of that bar is where the highest point that market traded in the day so that that relative if that's relative to the axis so if we can imagine our price axis here and we've got price along here you know going down whatever that may be Okay, and then time along the bottom. Well, in this case, it would be one, so the first of the month there, the one day. So in this instance, the very top of that bar is the high of the day. In this case, was was say 100. The bottom of the bar is the lowest price that the uh, market got to in the day. In this case, 97 or, or 97 and a half. And then these little notches here that we've got, we can see the little notch here. That's showing us the opening price and that little notch there is showing us the closing price so we can see really at a glance what the market did during the day so if the market's done this it started down here it's pushed a little bit lower pushed back up done this made a spike up to there close moved back down here done this come back up and close there on that bar chart it's going to say okay well there's the high there's the low there's the open there's the close let me just plot that like this, and then I can show that to traders. And then, so you can visually see for each day what's happened. As you can see, it's far more information that we get than if we just had a line chart. So candlesticks are very similar. They're showing us the high or low for the day. They're showing us the open or close. But these are color coded. And although you can color code bars, you need to color code candlesticks to show you what has actually happened. Because basically, if the candle is green, then the open of the candle what we call the candlestick by the way the candlestick body is this bit here so it's the bit that's colored in whether that is green or red that is the body and then we've got these little external things that protrude out of the body called the wick and the tail so the tail is at the bottom or the top and the wick is the bottom or top and and against personal preference some guys call it different things i like to call the bottom uh, i just call the top of it the wick obviously like a candle and i like to call the bottom of it the tail obviously just because it's the bottom of the candle so if the open is lower than the close like to this example here then the candle is going to be green because it's going to denote that the price has moved up during that day period so just like the bar we've got a little like we've got a little marker to show us where the open is that's at the bottom of the candle body and wherever the close is that's the top of the candle body and that is shaded green to show us that the close was higher than the open and the high or low for the day, so the extreme where the market moved during the day, is denoted by this tail here, where that goes, and the high of the wick. So we get the four pieces of information, the open, ding, the close, ding, the high, and the low. And then vice versa, if the market closed below the opening price, the candlestick is colored red, and we see a red candle, and again, the open is there, close is there, Low for the day is here, high for the day is here. So you can see how much information we can get. Very nice, very good to see. And the color coding helps us to see what's happened during the day. Now it's important to note that the color is based on the open to the close. If a market gaps, so let's say overnight you've got some news in a company, that means that the company is um, worth 10% more so we get a 10% gap on the Monday morning so the open on Monday is much higher than the Friday's close you're gonna get a candlestick that moves up the opens gonna be here let's say the close was here but if it trends down during the day it may well still be colored red because the open is higher than the close it's not rel relative to the prior day so even though the market may close up on the day, the candlestick may still be colored red because it's relative 
to that opening price. Okay, so we understand that. We understand that it's important to use the bars and the candlesticks. What else, the basics of charting, what's gonna help us as traders? So we used examples of a day. So a candle represents a day's worth of trade. A bar represents a day's worth of trade. A dot on a line is just the closing price for the day. And that's all very well, but as day traders, you know, we want a bit more information than that. So what we can do with our charts is we can adjust them to show a variety of time frames. So traditional daily chart shows one day per bar or one day per candle. So the days high, the days low, days closed, days open, so and so it just goes into one bar. We need to drill down a little bit more. As traders, we want to drill down a little bit more because we're trying to get those little swings intraday. We need more information. So what we can do is we can change the time frame on the chart. So each bar, each candle can represent a different period. Instead of representing the day, we can have it to represent two hours worth of trade, 60 minutes worth of trade, 15 minutes, five minutes, three minutes, or one minute, whatever we want. Those are some of the most popular ones. So what does that actually mean? It basically means in one minute, that candle will print the open of the minute, the close of the minute, the high or low of that minute. So over a 10 minute period, we'd have 10 candles showing us exactly what's happened to that price over 10 minutes. Same if we're using an hourly candlestick, each candle represents an hour worth of trade. And let's say over an eight hour period, we'd see eight candles showing us eight hours worth of trade. Now, this is personal preference to whichever you use, but as long as you can see all the price action you need to, that's the candlestick uh, pattern, or can't, sorry, the candlestick time frame you're gonna use. Obviously, if you're really finite scalping, you wanna use a very short time frame because you wanna see where the market's gone in 10 minutes. Give me 10 candles to show me that. If you're trading on a longer time frame, you're swing trading or you're looking for a multi-day move, you don't really need that information. And of course, the more candles you've got on your chart, the less information you can see in terms of the amount of days, but the more focused information. Let's have a look at some examples. 